Was getting caught part of your plan? Of course. All right, now that we've got the Dark Knight Rises reference out of the way, I want to talk to you about a fairly inexpensive and useful weapon enchantment called Bane. I also have kind of a funny story to go along with it, so I'll share that at the end. Now the Pathfinder and Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 version of Bane are basically the same. I'm pretty sure this enchantment was inspired by the blades that the hobbits had in Lord of the Rings. You know, the one Mary used to stab the Witch King and whichever other Nazgul that was at uh, Weathertop. Basically, a Bane weapon does additional damage against one type of foe. Now, Bane is a plus one bonus, but against your chosen foe, you treat it as plus two better than the actual bonus. So, if you have a plus one Bane weapon, you'll receive a plus three bonus against your chosen enemy type. Now, in addition to that increased bonus, you do an additional 2d6 damage. Which ain't bad. That's the same thing that Holy or Axiomatic or Anarchic will give you. Those bypass alignment DR, by the way. Now, like I said, Bane is a fairly inexpensive enchantment. It's only a plus one, and in Pathfinder, that adds up to 2,000 gold. Now, early on, yes, that is an awful lot of gold, but when we're talking like middle-late game, that isn't very much at all. But the major caveat of Bane is that it has to be against a specific enemy type. In Pathfinder, the types you can choose from are Aberrant. These are a lot of weird, underdark, and cave-dwelling creatures. Uh, Morlocks is a good example. And just anything sort of alien or bizarre is usually an aberration. Animals. Any animal counts. Whether it's a bear, or a badger, or a wolf, you know, in these games you're going to run into a ton of wolves. And if you know you're going into a setting like that, any weapon with Animal Bane is going to be very useful to you. Constructs. Constructs will mess you up. And for 2,000 gold to do an extra 2d6 damage, and that plus 2 to hit, I think it could potentially be very worth it. Dragons. Dragon Bane weapons, because if you're going up against a dragon, you're going to need every little bit you can. Because there's a reason that the game is named after them. TPKs all day, every day. Fairies. Fairies are dangerous, especially when you get into some of the nastier, weirder ones, like Nakalavis. <laughs> yeah, get your cold iron, feybane club of keep away from me, you skinless freak. Humanoids. Pick a type. This is a really, really, really broad area, so honestly, it would be kind of hard to narrow it down. But things like Orcbane, Goblin Bane, Goblinoid Bane, Elf Bane, if you're going up against a bunch of elves, all potentially very helpful. And hey, why not Human Bane? Humans are fairly common. Magical Beasts. These are your Griffins, your Manticores, your Unicorns, your Pegasus, all that stuff. Magical Beasts, again, potentially very dangerous. Oozes. Hell no to the Oozes. Yeah, teach that gelatinous cube who's boss with, like, a bow of ooze bane. Outsiders. Pick a type. I would recommend having a weapon with outsider evil bane, because odds are good that you're going to come across some evil outsider at some point. But, you know, you do have a lot of options. Unfortunately, there is no elemental bane, because elementals are a pretty big subtype. You're going to need to pick elemental outsider type when you pick an elemental bane weapon. So, like, if you know you're going to be fighting fire elementals, a weapon of fire elemental bane would be what you need. Plants. There aren't a huge amount of plant creatures, so you may not feel the need to invest in a weapon of plant bane, but, you know, it could be helpful. Again, that's just about knowing your setting. Undead. Oh, hell yes. This is a something I recommend having. Any weapon with Undead Bane, because gosh darn it, Undead next to giant rats and goblins are something you're going to run across in droves. So that Sword of Undead Bane is going to be getting some work. Especially, heaven forbid, you come up against some super OP undead awesome killer like a lich or a mummy monk or a vampire. And finally, Vermin Bane. Because it's an RPG. You're going to be killing giant rats. It happens. There is a minor issue with Bane, though. It does not bypass certain types of DR. So, unfortunately, if you are fighting a demon and he's got DR 10 good, your Bane weapon isn't going to do anything more to him than it would normally do. 
It's not going to bypass that DR. Although, if you're lucky, the additional 2d6 of damage may help get your damage past that, so it's better than nothing. Alright, now for that story I promised you. I am playing a 3.5 game, and my DM, well... He is starting us at level 10, and he was a little too generous with the amount of gold that he was giving us. But he had his own rules. Basically, if you wanted a specific piece of magical equipment, you had to tell him what it is, and then he would roll to see if you could buy it with the gold that he gave you. So, obviously, I picked out the uh, recommended adventurer's magical swag. That's your bag of holding, your handy haversack, your portable hole, your manual of golem construction. But he said that armor and weapon enchantments are basically... You can get them done anywhere because it's that kind of setting. So, he just lets you have them. So, I had 16,000 gold left over. I know, right? And I said, you know what? I am going to get myself... Eight Bane Daggers, just to be prepared. I got myself a Dagger of Construct Bane, a Dagger of Elemental Bane, which is a thing in 3.5, a Dagger of Humanoid Goblinoid Bane, because that covers Hobgoblins, Goblins, and Bugbears, a Dagger of Ooze Bane, a Dagger of Evil Outsider Bane, a Dagger of Dragon Bane, a Dagger of Undead Bane, and a Dagger of Monstrous Humanoid Bane. Monstrous humanoids are basically creatures like hags, or witches, or stuff like that. Those are also in Pathfinder, by the way. I was playing a gnome beguiler who had these uh, eight bane weapons kind of in bandoliers. So we enter this dungeon, and the area is really cold, and there's this sort of ice ooze which attacks us. So just the look on his face when I said, okay, I pull out my dagger of ooze bane, because he didn't seem to think that I would have one of those. Basically, I was in a good situation where I had the financial resources to get enough weapons that I would be baned against most of the creatures that I would encounter in an average play session with my DM. Alright, thank you for watching, and I hope you've learned something about Bane. If you're interested in more videos about the classes, races, and gameplay of Dungeons & Dragons and Pathfinder, check out D6 Damage right here on YouTube. Thank you for watching.